So as you saw when we were harvesting everything, we've got these really good looking jalapenos. And then do you remember what this one was? Banana? I think this was the sweet banana pepper. And then this was the hot <coughs> banana pepper, I think. Or they might be that way. I'm not really sure, honestly. We got a good blonde bell pepper. Uh, and somebody's at the door. We weren't expecting anyone. All right, let's see who's at the door. Hi. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Come in, come in. Is this a good time? This is a great time. <laughs> Completely unexpected. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so the fun thing about filming is that things change. Here we are filming a harvest and taste on peppers and a guest shows up. Now this isn't just any guest. Anyone who's been watching this channel for two years knows that I've always mentioned a teacher who took a liking to the single seed challenge and each year has had her class adopt a single seed challenge with me. This is Miss Rendon. She is a teacher that I've been referring to for two years. And <laughs> why don't we change this video up and actually not do a harvest and taste. Warning. But why don't we actually go do the single do a single seed challenge update? Because honestly it's time. And her class's single seed challenge is Moonlight. Mine is Starbright. And they are huge. So let's do it. Just dance. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. I love this. I'm actually here. This is the place that it all happens. It is. Well, actually, well, right after. Everybody, ready? All right. Let's do it. We're in the backyard right now, and I'm about to flip the camera around and show Moonlight and Starbright, and you're going to be shocked at how big the plants have gotten. So, I'm and, already like. And she hasn't seen them actually in the ground. I can see them from here. Yep. So, oh. here we go. Okay, so as we come in, this entire plant is star bright. And then this entire plant over here is moonlight. Are we allowed to touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Are you sure? Oh, yep, yeah, I'm positive. Oh, look at all the babies. Do you see that one? That is as, okay, I'm on, I want to touch that one because he's still growing. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's Moonlight. No, Moonlight is this plant. Moonlight has a lot. Moonlight Look is at. huge. As you can see right there. Oh, this is so amazing. Where's it at? Oh, as you can see right there, Moonlight's putting on a lot of fruit or a lot of vegetables, a lot of tomatoes. And I've got them going everywhere. And if you look... Now, Chad, are these going to be for a snack, or can you put them in a salad, or either one? You could do whatever you want with them. Because my kids know I'm part bunny, and I eat salads all the time, so I'm just thinking. <laughs> what do you think, Darian? Mm. She doesn't eat salads. I'll eat them. Okay, apparently <clears throat> the cat has Darian's tongue today because she doesn't want to talk, which is great for me. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, if, you, if, if we look real close here... For those that don't know what a spoon tomato is, basically they are the size of peas or small marbles. And they can fit in a spoon. Hence name. the name spoon tomato. Because they're really nice. small. And again, you can see how small they are right there compared to, compared to a normal tomato. So you can see how big these are compared to that right there. There we go. Now you can really see how small they are. Wow. That is so awesome. I can't wait to taste them. Well, it's funny you say that because we have a red one <gasps> that we could actually pluck. Do you think I could take one to the classroom tomorrow? What do you all think? Should she take the, the one we just saw to the classroom for the students? That would make the week amazing. It's now, it's so small, friends, that Miss Rendon's probably going to have to be the one to taste it. But once, Chad, you get some more maybe during the week, because we have like eight days of school left. Yep, we should be able little, to. Yeah, maybe I can have them have a piece. Hopefully. We'll Hopefully. see. We'll see. Um, Fingers crossed. <laughs> again, Mother Nature is on her schedule. She is not on our schedule or on Conroe ISD schedule. So <laughs> um, we'll see what we do. But right now, 
for the students of the second grade oh, I should be looking over here for the students of the second grade Where class Miss Rendon has something to show you here we go gently oh my god that happened so easily look what's in my hand guys look how little it is a literally a baby tomato <laughs> that is awesome this is the first one that's the first one of the year here I, on down home backyard gardening single seed challenge 2022 spoon tomato and Darian. that came off of star bright mm -hmm. and we have some i have another one is it ready okay right. let's try another one. nope not that one not that one it's not ready yet okay that's but maybe right. in a day or two that one will be ready and then there's some other ones darian i think you should hold it let's let darian hold it there it is awesome. what do you think what what do you think about what about the spoon tomato. Oh, I think it's cute. It's cute? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. And it has a pretty color. Okay, so okay, I do want to say that when I saw the description of these tomatoes in the Baker Creek catalog, what, four, five, six months ago, five months ago, why don't I go ahead and tell y'all what I'm going to do for Single Seed Challenge 2022. I was going through this catalog, which I have mentioned in a past video, and on page 478, 478, I found a tomato that's called a spoon tomato. Here it is. I am incredibly excited to try this because if you look really closely, the tomatoes fit inside a spoon. All these tomatoes are about the size of peas. Yes, peas. What this spoon tomato lacks in size, it makes up for in flavor. This variety packs tons of bold classic red tangy tomato flavor, which is another reason why it is a kid favorite. Spoon tomatoes pop in your mouth when you bite into them. They are a joy to eat and grow. That is from this catalog on page 478. So, Tomatoes that can fit inside a spoon that are the size of peas. Yeah, that sounds fun, sounds different, and that's what I'm going to grow right here. Single Seed Challenge 2022. This is exactly why I wanted to do this tomato for the Single Seed Challenge because, I mean, seriously, that thing is as big as it's going to get, and it's like a small marble. Now, it can totally get more red. It can ripen up a little bit more, but it, it's good to go. So um, I'm excited about that. I definitely want to take it to the class. <laughs> it's a must. This tomato is going to the classroom where, if you all remember, remember Moonlight took that vacation and that little trip about three months ago before they got planted, before she got planted mm -hmm. into this garden. So You know what's amazing, Mr. Chad, is that we we saw this start from one little seed like that's one little seed that's like i think i'm i'm more like this whole experience is amazing because i'm in a yard where you like we see this video we get this little seed it grows in my classroom but it's here and i'm going to take like the harvest tomorrow that is so cool like this whole experience boys and girls is amazing i love it love love it now i i do want to give a shout out to mr scott head at black gumbo southern gardening sir this is exactly why i love this challenge so much because like she just said mm -hmm. the students can see what one seed one seed can do and produce and become and it's just an amazing teaching experience and for any other teachers that are watching this video or any of the other single seed challenge videos please get on board start that process of joy of wanting to grow in a child's heart in their mind and it will produce down the road maybe not right away but that seed will always be there pun intended so. and oh, oh, oh before you stop just know that a lot of kids are growing stuff at home as well so it has motivated students friends relatives grandparents i hear a lot of kids are, my students or grandparents are helping them out so what a great way to spend time together and have actual like a harvest something that you cut i think you've mentioned in your videos come to your backyard and hey i need a tomato Boom. let's make some salsa you know you grab this stuff so that's awesome what do you think Darian? so we're gonna go ahead and cut this video a little sooner than i expected but 
I don't think we need to keep going. The single seat challenge for itself has been explained. Absolutely. She has been a tremendous, Aww. tremendous influence on the fact of what I want to change and what I, where I want to take the single seat challenge to. Because originally all I wanted to do was plant something, document it, and kind of try to start a YouTube channel. And I think I've succeeded in that. But being able to transform just a challenge for me into something where we're affecting children mm -hmm. um, is invaluable to me. So, oh, <laughs> you know what? We have another single seat challenge to go look at. What? Let's do it. Joe, Joe, what are you doing? Okay, so I'd be completely remiss if I did not show an update on and I've been given permission, yes, he given has. permission to, to say the name of the student from her mom is Kate's single seed challenge cantaloupe seed right here in this pot. Now, yay, Kate! <laughs> that's her student. So, what I'm going to do in, in one week from today, so today is Sunday, so next Sunday, I'm going to transplant her single seed challenge right here beside this other cantaloupe. So hopefully they can work off of each other and she can get strong based off of that. I had to show Kate, hey, your seed is doing great. Yes, it is. Okay, everybody, so that's the video for the Single Seed Challenge 2022 update, I believe number nine. We are done. I do want to say thank you to Miss Rendon for showing up over here on a Sunday, her day Sunday. off, to come film a video that no, is... No, I'm today. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I guess she's not off. <laughs> To, uh, to film a video that is very special for me, because mm -hmm. she's the first guest on Down Home Backyard Gardening. Of course. Besides Darian, but Darian's part of the show. Yeah, Darian's part so, of the show. Um, but again, and today was Sunday. It was her day off. I wanted, we, we, uh, we had kind of thrown this around, and I did not expect her to come today, or at least not at this time, and uh, couldn't be more happy. And then. And then JoJo's here. And JoJo is beyond excited. See that? <laughs> Look at her. The fat dog. Love her. All right, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, as always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. If you have not researched what the Single Seed Challenge is yet, please do so. Watch any of the videos on my channel. Go to Scott Head's Black Gumbo Southern Gardening channel. Check his Single Seed Challenge videos out. Check out the channel on Facebook or Instagram. Just type it in. Find me. Subscribe and as always, shine bright and harvest hard. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm not sure if it'd be a cross pollination kind of a thing, but I'm pretty sure if you have multiple plants beside each other, they'll. Uh, <laughs> they, they, he spotted well, something in your garden. Well, Sorry, I'm well, here. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can't say blue. Yes, yes, you can. I guess we can. We can say. I guess we can. So I'm going to go ahead and plant, check out the channel on Facebook or Instagram. Just type it in, find me, subscribe, and as always, shine bright and harvest hard. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that. We can so have when it. you do it, look right here at the middle camera. Okay. Ready? Shine bright and harvest hard. Single seat challenge videos out. Um, shine bright? No, no, not yet. Oh, not yet. I'm a early. Um, that was awkward. <laughs> that was awkward. Check out the Sorry. channel. You're not emo at all? No. Are you sure? I mean, I'm wearing black, but like, it doesn't have anything to do with Well, I'm wearing black, Black's but hey, cool color. Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one likes your face here. Are you recording? I am recording. Oh my god. Put this in the I'm not putting this in the video. Put it in there. No, then people are going to be like, oh, he's so mean to his daughter. That's yeah. how we are, guys. We just it's, a healthy, it's a healthy relationship. See, I now guess. they know. Now you can yeah. put it in the video. I, I guess. <laughs>